Hello there guys, Wayne here from Luna's World. I hope you're well. Welcome to this brand new video. Now, um, what we're going to be doing is showing you how to set up uh, to do circuits at pretty much any airfield in the world um, using pretty much any plane. However, we are using uh, the PMDG 737 and we're currently at uh, just holding short of 27 right at Heathrow. So that is what uh, we're going to be doing in this scenario. But like I said, you should be able to transfer all of these skills to any um, airfield and any plane. Obviously, the flight management computers of different planes are going to be slightly different. But nevertheless, um, you'll get the general idea. So let's head on down to the FMC. Now, um, my nav data is a little bit out of date, but that's not uh, important for this. So we start by just putting in our um, current reference airport, which is Echo Golf Lima Lima. And we'll go to route. Now that that's actually still in the scratch pad, we just need to put it there. We can also copy this across, put it into destination. And then from here, I like to go to the departure arrival page. We'll just find our um, runway which is 27 right here and then we go back to departures but this time we're clicking on arrivals and we're going to click on the same one ILS 27 right click on route activate that and execute it and um, you can save it if you want save you doing that later on if you want to do you know it's quite good to do that because then you can just uh, load a flight and do and practice circuits anyway performance um, page now we'll just uh, click in our zero zero fuel weight we'll put two there um, we'll just I don't know cost index just put 10 or whatever we're going up to 3,000 feet there and execute that um, I think the transition altitude at Heathrow is 6,000, so we'll just put that in. That's not that important. N1 limit. We'll do a takeoff one, but we'll do a climb out, a climb two. So we've got 93.8% um, of N, uh, N1 thrust, which is fine. We're doing a flaps five takeoff, and we'll just set our trim. Pretty high speeds here. We've got we're quite heavy, but that's all right. So 156 for V2. Um, while we're here, I'm just going to go to the fix page and I'm going to type in our airfield. I'm going to put two fixes in. Now, you have to put uh, forward slash. We don't want a radial. We just want a distance. So I'm going to go forward slash 10. And that will give us a 10-mile ring. Let's just come up there. And then forward slash 7 for a 7-mile ring. That just helps us visualize where we are in the circuit and when, when to do the turns and things. So um, what we can do now is oops, wrong one. just go back to the takeoff page, um, 156V2, let me remember that. And then we can start to set up the, uh, the MCP. So um, I'm not going to do minimums and uh, decision height, all that sort of stuff, um, just because I want to get up there and show you how to fly this thing. So we'll set our V2 speed, which is 156 knots. Um, we're only going up to 3,000. So we can do that. We can arm. That's already armed. Now, the course for um, 27 right is 271. So we'll just put that in both sides. Oops, wrong way. Two, uh, seven, one. Okay, and we will actually program in the um, the data for the ILS, and that's really easy to get hold of. You just go to index approach, and there it is, right there. So one one zero decimal three. We'll just put that into this side. One one zero decimal three. Transfer that across. We'll do the same this side, 111, one, one. 3, was it 111 or was it 110? Yeah, 110. So just double check that. That's all in 11. Yep. Good stuff. So that's that done. We'll just go back to the takeoff page here. 
and that's pretty much it. That's or, and you know do do the necessaries with regards to uh, this. We'll, we'll when we get clearance for takeoff, we will. Uh, okay, that's all fine, and we'll set our pressurization to there. Our landing altitude is 50 at Heathrow. Uh, that's about it. Okay, back to here. And then, you know, we're pretty much then just get yourself configured. So put your flaps out, set your trim, um, which probably needs to come back a little bit. That's good. Um, quick check of the uh, flight controls. Make sure that's all working. I don't know why I'm looking out there. I can't see them. But yeah, that's all working. Um, we're all good there. And have I forgotten anything? Yep, I've forgotten to arm the auto brake. Put that to RTO, rejected takeoff. Really, we should have weather on there and terrain on that side. But again, don't need to be too pedantic. So let's just uh, zoom us in a little bit. Let's just get the, let the seating right. Oops, that's done something weird. Let's disengage that. All right. Um, good. Okay, I think we're ready to taxi on out. So we're going to do a normal takeoff. We're going to climb to 3,000 feet. We are going to um, then maintain runway heading at 3,000 feet. And then we're going to make a left turn to uh, the reciprocal of 271. A, three, a, a 180, basically. Um, and then... Uh, I'll talk you through the rest of that when we when we get to that point. Um, so yeah, so we'll just line up. We've been cleared for, for takeoff, so our landing lights can go full on. And uh, just zoom out a wee bit. Okay, so there we go. So we're just double checking everything, and our co-pilot, our first officer, is agreeing we're ready. Thanks, Luna. So 40%. Let it stabilize and hit that toga button. Here we go. So takeoff power set. Ooh, that's weird. Now we've got a bit of a long uh, way to reach 156 knots, and we've got a derated. Uh, the reason I've done a derate is to slow things th slow things down a bit, so there's enough time to talk and think. Oh, what I haven't done though, very naughty, is hit my set my runway heading. There we go, airspeed alive, 80 knots. Oops, missed all that. Coming up to V1. 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 Take. And v rotate. So here we go, pitching up for 15 degrees. There we go. Oh, a little bit more positive rate. Gear up. Okay, that's all good. Right, we can go to flaps up speed now. Hit that, that's taken care of that. Right, pitching down for 10, our acceleration height. We go flaps up, or flaps one. And now we can go flaps up. So good stuff. Then we just kind of carry on our climb up to uh, 3,000 feet, and we just clean up here, do our after takeoff bits and pieces, and maintain runway heading pretty much. There we go. So that's all fairly standard stuff. There we go. So we've got a thousand feet to go. So, so far so good. We can increase to 230 knots there. And start thinking about lowering the nose. We're going in between the... Uh, just kind of... That's about... Oops, a little bit too aggressive there. Anyhow, we're, we're about 
level, we're about to 3,000 feet, that's okay. We're going to start our left hand turn, as we do we're going to just nose up a little bit just because we'll, we'll make this climb, really want to stay within the 10 mile um, radius if you can, just because you don't want to go too far out. Just as we do that, I'm just adjusting the uh, heading bug there. Just watch the rate of turn. We're busting our altitude, my bad. I always do that. Whenever I think about the heading, moving the heading bug, I always bust my altitudes there. It's a habit that I can't seem to, to break. Anyway, of course, in doing that, we uh, run the risk of breaking 250 knots we haven't there but anyway we'll just level off at that sort of it is fine so continue the turn round we're well inside well I'll say well we're just about inside the 10 mile uh, fix that we put in so that's good and then um, you can see our heading bug there so we'll just start to vacate the turn uh, when we're within about 10 degrees of bank, so about uh, about 100 degrees, we will start to uh, counter the turn. And keep it going, keep it going. And there we go, so we'll start to level the wings, just watch the altitude all over the place. <laughs> And there we go, 90 degrees, so level the wings and just re then re get your altitudes right and just trim out. So all we have to do now is really hold that. Now, what we're going to do when we're beam the uh, runway, let's just get our heading right, it's not too much. Just trimming and trying to talk at the same time. So when we're beam the runway, we are going to descend down to 2,000 feet. Um, and we're going to slow down to 190 knots here um, and just then start to get configured for our landing. I'm only going to do one circuit guys, There's no need to, for me to do more than that. You guys will get the idea. You can do touch and goes or you can do full stop or landing, whatever you want to do obviously. If you're practicing, I highly recommend doing touch and goes. Uh, oh, a bit of turbulence there. And if you can hear the Bruner yoke really going mad when there's turbulence, but it's very, very cool effect. Okay, we're not quite a beam, but almost. So what I might do is slow us down to 190, and um, and then just slowly push down. And move. We want no more than a thousand feet a minute for our descent, nice and gently. And we'll climb, we'll climb. We'll descend down to 2,000. And again, you just want to make sure your heading, headings are as accurate as possible. So we'll just do one more knot. That'll do. That's pretty good. All right. And then... Basically, to level out, I start thinking about leveling out when I'm 200-ish feet, 150 to 200 feet um, away from our assigned altitude. Now, what I didn't do, very naughty, was to change our altitude bug. So there we go. We'll go back to heading. Now we're a, we're uh, we're below the flaps up speed now, so we can go to flap one. Again, we're trying to hold 2,000 feet and we're just descending, so let me try not to, uh, to do that. And now we're below flap 1, so we can go flap 5. And basically, when we're between the 7 mile and the 10 mile fix, that's when I'm going to start my left hand turn back onto runway heading. And I'm trying to maintain 2,000. 
as much as possible. Oops, I can go to flap five. It's only flap two. Let's try that. So flap two, flap five speed now. Which is there. Now at this point, you can um, let's just go down to the FMC. We can press. Uh, in it ref and we will take us straight to the approach page so I'm going to go flaps 30 approach and that's all we do basically all right so we're below we can go to flap 15 now and we're going to start our turn oops sorry I've gone one too far on the flap there we go just zoom in here a little bit, that's better. Okay. Busting altitude again, let's try and regain that. Only just inside the uh, 15 mile fix there. So we'll just do a slightly steeper turn. And you don't really do a base leg um, in the way that I'm doing it because there's not really enough. Well, as it happens, there probably is enough time to do it right now. But anyway, we're not doing a base leg. <laughs> So the glide slope is now alive, and um, what we'll do now is we'll go geared down. That's going to help us uh, slow down, and we'll go flat 15 speed now. I'll watch the altitude, watch the nose. Okay, and then we should have the runway in sight by this point. And we have. So we're below the uh, the white marker there. So we'll go flap 30 or VREF plus 5. So the VREF is 156. So to go 161. That is pretty much it. Um, now, because I'm not going to do a um, a touch and go, we'll just do we'll set up for a full stop landing. But that's basically it. So now, now you're watching your uh, glide slope because that's all programmed in. Um, I probably actually put the gear down a bit too premature there um, for Heathrow. So you really, when it's when the diamond is one notch above the center that's basically when you'd go gear down and again it's noise abatement um, issues um, but it's always good to get you know if you can to get set up as early as possible now we just need to worry about lining up and um, once we hit the glide slope we want about uh, 750 uh, feet of descent rate even though it's telling us we're high now, we're not, we're actually on the glide slope, so about 750 um, there, and just by now really just minor adjustments and there's 1000 so we can disengage the auto throttle so we have control over that now and just adjust accordingly saying we're below the glide so we're no, we, okay, well, adjust um, but there we go, uh, and that's pretty much it. We're descending a little bit too quickly, so we'll just uh, sort that out. Again, nothing too drastic, just holding the centre line if possible, but bang on the glide slope. You can see the diamond is... Um oh, that's because I haven't put the, uh, the numbers in, isn't it? I think, so that's why. That's all right. I haven't put the, I haven't put the uh, altitude in correctly, the runway altitude. I think I put 50, it's supposed to be 100. So we're going to be 100 feet out. 100. Anyway, that's fine. 50. 30. 
There we go. So 30. We uh, idle the. Uh, I don't know what's happening there. It's a bit odd. No, oh, never mind. Right. Anyway, we'll uh, let the speed brakes do their thing. We'll just engage reverses. There we go. Centre line. Don't know what happened there. Got a bit, a bit out of. Uh, all right, 60 knots. Uh, manual braking. Yeah, a bit of rudder issue there. I tend to. Uh, the last couple of videos I've had that. Um, not quite sure why. Need to look into that a bit more. But that's basically it, guys. So, um, I'll just taxi off the wrong way. But I hope that's made sense. Um, like I said. Um, it's it's all transferable to uh, any aircraft, any um, uh, any airfield really. So as long as you know the facts and figures, um, the airport elevation is important, as we just found out. I thought it was 50, but we were. I think it must be 100, or is it even 200? I need to look that up. Anyway, you know, you need to have that information because otherwise the glide slope reading will be wrong, as it was in our case. Um, so yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, that's uh, that's how I do it, um, and uh, it's good practice to uh, to do loads of circuits. Um, it just keeps you in check, and uh, yeah, it's fun. Well, I think it is anyway. So I hope you've learned something. Um, you probably haven't. You probably all knew all this stuff anyway. But I thought I would do this video, and um, yeah, appreciate your feedback. Let me know if I've done anything wrong. I'm sure I've done bunch of stuff wrong um anyhow there it is guys thanks a lot